and we'll just watch it out from here. So we're kind of protected. This way, this way we're here, we're uh, looking directly south. Well, this is our first summer project, taking out the back half of the backyard fence, because trees like this one here, way overgrown and practically dead, that one over there. So the city came out and marked them for removal. So we're taking the fence out, which was all put in before the trees, because the fence was grown into the trees, or the, the trees grew through the fence. Those are parts of trees that uh, grew into the fence that we couldn't uh, cut out, so we just cut those out as well. So this is all going to be removed hopefully in the next week or so. But um, since the neighbors have, have the back of their fence there, uh, it really wouldn't make any sense to have two ends of the fences here. Like ours and theirs and they're only about three or four inches separating the two. And, well, what do we hear? Oh, oh a fighter jet. It's kind of rare you see those, unless they're having a, unless they're having a air show or just a Passover. Let's see, Let's see if he comes back. Where's the airplane? Hey Zara, show me the gold you found. Show me the gold. What is it? Oh, it looks like two two half moons. It, it looks like two. Yeah. It probably is. Well, it's when probably you, worth when you more. get yeah. Never. When you get get home, have your mom, mom, and dad look it up on on the internet and see exactly well what kind of coin it is. Cool. Take a look at this. I think I'm getting my first tan of this of of the year. I'm gonna look better, but yeah, right around this side here. Hi Blake! I don't know. Let's take, take, let's take a look. Hey, hey Hi. It's uh, 93 degrees and still climbing out there. It's 80 in here. Are you sure you want to go, go outside in that fur coat? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. With 95 degrees, the dew point 48, and the relative humidity 20%, producing a heat index of 91. The wind was south at 20 miles an hour, gusting to 28. The pressure was 29.49 inches and falling. Across eastern Nebraska, it was sunny, with a temperature of 95 at Nebraska City and 95 at Plattsmith. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 94 at Beatrice, 80 at Grand Island, and 90 at Fremont. Well, I guess, I guess you can say the summer has officially arrived. I don't know if it's summer just yet, but it sure as hell feels like it today. Well, I don't know about you, but I think it might want to try and rain. These little clusters here of storms. So we'll let us see how I can go in the backyard. It's been a long day, and you can actually tell it's beginning to cool down a little bit. It's probably 92, 95 down right now. But uh, oh, the lilacs are blooming. Cool. Uh, but you can tell these uh, just popped up in the last I don't know 20 minutes or so. You can see how they're kind of getting all billowy over here. A little bit more definition. You got white and the higher and uh, dark gray right there. That's fun. And surprisingly enough, I thought that these plants were all dead. Well, they begin to sprout here a little bit. Oh, something right there, right there, right there, and over there. So, gotta keep watering them. That's why I paid the water bill. Ah, oh, just a nice little thunderstorm rolling through. Is it hail yet? Ah, I'm sorry. Yep. No, no. It's just, roll, just rain. Yep, it's going down. Well, I thought I saw a little piece there, but I uh, Nothing big yet. Just a good, just a good rain shower. And now it stops. Alright, here's what the radar looks like right now. And here, 
is what outside looks like. Oh, look at this here. I haven't seen those in a while. Yeah, I'm, yeah my keys are still in there. So, and uh, you can see down down here, you got a little bit of a little bit of rage. Oh, and a streak, a streak strike of lightning. Okay, if I can talk. And there's some more models down there. It kind of looks like it. I don't want to zoom in too much. And you can see the cloud line here too. Uh, I'm pretty much the tallest thing out here. Sitting over there. Oh. So uh, I think I'll run inside real quick. Yeah, thunderstorms are cool as long as you uh, and fun as long as you stay safe with them. Uh, but keys in the ignition while you're trying to talk and videotape kind of annoying. Whoa, now we just missed that one. Uh, so they're, they're all down in this area so far down here. So uh, what I'm going to try and do, I think I'll, I'll get in the vehicle. Get in the vehicle here. Roll the window down just a second. Well, they were correct. If uh, the cap broke, which obviously it has and everything, any developing storms and everything would be on the slightly severe side with wind, hail and everything. And we haven't really had hail or wind yet. But just a, just some good downpours and some good lightning strikes. Just a good classic, classic category uh, thunderstorm. So we're just sort of sitting out here just in case anything pops up, which I don't think it will. But it's, it's always fun to watch. And yeah, we'll just watch it out from here, so we're kind of protected. This way, this way we're here. We're uh, looking directly south. Now these storms just uh, popped up probably about a half hour ago, just uh, just uh, down by the Kansas-Nebraska line. So you can get focus, focus, come on. So uh, looks like they're going to be the only line. And of course another lightning strike I missed. Oh well. And this school here, uh, this is this is actually a Belmont school. This is uh, their remodeled or rebuilt school. And this part here, I believe, it's a kindergarten preschool. So it's a lot bigger than it was when my sister went to school here back in God. When was that? Like 70, 68, 60? No, she's born 67. So so yeah, it would have been 70, 71 or so. Anyway, and here we go. We get a we can please start investigating an apparent homicide now. Right here we go, right here on the bottom. Severe thunderstorm watch for Lancaster County until one o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's gonna be fun. You know, the funny thing is, though. I've been thinking about going and having the car washed all day today. Well, I guess this is the irony about it. I never did. But uh, this is probably the best thing that's happened all day today. Now we're up at Walmart now, and there's Lake Walmart getting filled up again. Fun, fun, fun. I think this is the tail end of it. It's about 3.30, time to pick up the, all the, the kids. Actually, it's just Jeffrey from school and head back home. I must insist that you wake up. Uh, I'm already awake. Thanks a lot. Um, anyway, okay, now how do I, I shut this off? I must insist that you 
wake up. Evasive maneuvers acknowledged.